Warning, I will not be held responsible for any damages the software and methods shown in this video may cause to yours or someone else's hardware, software, and or data, including loss of use of such devices and or loss of data and or loss of profits from the resulting inability to use such devices and data. Any information or program you choose to put into use from this video is done at your own risk. As a precaution, I recommend backing up any irrecoverable data before installing and using any new softwares, including those shown in this video. This video will show you how to get around the silent spam filter that is found in such applications such as Text Plus, Text Now, Text Free, and other similar apps or applications that provide you with a free local telephone number allowing you to send and receive unlimited SMS text messages to actual cell phone or smartphone recipients that are on cellular networks. So, all of these apps the three apps mentioned have been tested by me, and they do have silent spam filters, and I, it's assumed that other similar apps have silent spam filters as well. Essentially, the way these silent spam filters work is, let's say, for example, you had a plumbing issue in your home. You had to reach out to a plumber. You need to find a plumber as soon as possible. So you compose a SMS text message explaining your situation and requesting help and asking when the plumber will be available. Because of this, there are many plumbers you wish to contact. So what you do is you contact each plumber, sending the same message one after the other. The problem is, after perhaps three sent messages to different recipients, what will happen is after that, any attempt to send the same message to different recipients will rep come back reporting to you that the message has been sent when in fact it hasn't been sent. You will be told it has been sent, but it will not be sent. Furthermore, it will not be held in a queue. It is not as if it is waiting to be sent. It, the apps will simply lie to you and tell you, yeah, it's been sent, but it will never be sent. You'll never hear back from your recipient. This is a silent spam filter. It exists to prevent those using these apps from using them for phishing, scams, or spamming. So, a way to get around this is as follows. You have your composed message through the first app. Uh, first of all, I recommend you install more than one of these apps. Minimally, these three apps are a good way to start. If you install any additional ones, why not? So, you send your message, your composed message, to the first three recipients using the first app. Once that's been done, switch to the next app. On the next app, send three messages to the next three recipients. Once that's done, switch to the next app. Send the same message to the next three recipients. Once that has been done, what I recommend you do is you go back to your first app. You send the composed message that you composed to the number of the following app. Make sure it gets delivered. If it gets delivered, send one extra message to a next recipient. Then from there, in the second app, use your composed message. Send it to the third app. Make sure it gets delivered. If it gets delivered, send one extra message from this app to a new recipient, and so on and forth, so forth. Keep on cycling in this manner to ensure that your messages continue to get delivered and that you are not stuck in a silent spam filter. It is possible that some messages, regardless of this, will still get stuck in the spam filter and will get blocked essentially in the spam filter and you will not be aware of it. Sadly, this is the best you can do unless you choose to send maximum three messages from each app, and then perhaps, I don't know what the waiting period is, but wait perhaps an hour before you could send the next, the next group of three messages. So you have to juggle as so in order to get around the silent spam filter. Well, there you go. I hope this information helps, and as usual, all the best.